All right, welcome back, video five. In video five, we're gonna talking about how do we um, submit an assignment, okay? So in video three, I believe it was, we practiced getting into the assignment, downloading the assignment, and then we also practiced how to make sure it's organized in a correct folder. Again, your teacher should kind of help you organize your Google folders in order to make submissions easier. All right, so assume this is my document and you can see that I've written a lot of really good work that I wanna submit and I'm really proud of it. So how do I submit it? A um, Couple of ways could do it. Your teacher might, and this is a might and I don't know if they will. On the end of your document, they might have something that you can, uh, a link that you can click that will take you immediately to um, the page in which you're going to submit it. If that happens, you have to make sure that you are previously signed into Canvas. That's why clicking that button that says um, stay signed in is so important. Okay, but what happens if your teacher doesn't have that? It's really simple. I completed my document. I know where it is in the folder. I now need to go to home. And if I already had it, I just click on the assignment. And once I click on the assignment, there's a blue little box right here, guys, that says submit assignment. So what do you do? you click it. All right, now here is the tricky part. We need to figure out where to find it. You guys are using a Chromebook and all of your stuff is gonna be saved on Google Drive. So we're not gonna be using a folder, we're not gonna be doing CK12, we are gonna be coming over here to Google Drive. And when you click Google Drive, the first time, and I don't know why it says the tool is masquerading. Um, all right, so while I'm as the student view, it's not going to allow me to actually log into Google Drive because it will try to pull up my teacher Google Drive instead of yours. So what will happen, um, I'll just walk you through, is when you click Google Drive, it's going to ask that you give it permission to connect to Google Drive. Um, if you've downloaded any apps, you know what I'm talking about when it says that. Click yes. And once you click yes, all of your Google Drive is going to start to load up here. Okay, on top is gonna be your files. So if you have seventh and eighth grade science, that's gonna be up there. If you have um, sixth grade ELA, it's gonna be up there. You then need to click into the correct um, folder and then select the correct document. And the only thing, and it's hard to see right here, is at the end when you cl uh, click it, there's gonna be a button down here that says submit assignment. And when you click submit assignment, this page is gonna change again, okay? And what it's gonna look like, it's gonna look very similar to the, um, very similar to the page right here where I'll say submit assignment again, but then over in this box where my little circle is, it's gonna say submitted assignment, it's gonna give you a timestamp, and it's gonna tell you what assignment you submitted. This is the part that I cannot stress enough. Click on the document you submitted to make sure that it is the correct one. More than a few times, students tend to submit something, think it's the right one, but then they end up submitting a blank document. Your teacher cannot assess a blank document. So by you, the student, taking 20 seconds to click the document, it will then um, save us a lot of time chasing you down. All right, so again, big thing, you'll have submit assignment. Once you click submit assignment, you'll go to Google Drive. You'll click your, get into your folder. You'll click your um, document that you wanna submit. Down here, it'll say submit assignment, click it. It will then, like I said, come back and you will have um, this will show up again. You will have the document that's submitted. Let's say you submit the wrong assignment. This actually is gonna to switch to resubmit assignment and you can resubmit an assignment. So you can submit 100 assignments if you want to to the same thing. Please don't. But let's say you submit something wrong or you submit a picture and it doesn't show up, you can resubmit it again, okay? So this is how you submit an assignment. 